Hi, what's up Sunny fam? My name is Sydney and I am your Sunny trainer for today. Today I have a 20 minute full body row and ride workout planned for you guys. Today we have a full body circuit, we have some Tabata, and we're gonna finish with a little burner because you guys know I love those. We have to finish that way. So let's get our row and rides set up really quick. I'm gonna put one resistance band on mine today because I don't want to die during class, but if you want to do two resistance bands, three resistance bands, be my guest. All right, we're going to hop it on and get started. Up first, we've got a warm up. So we're going to start with two whole minutes of squat and row. We're going to take it nice and slow. So nice little squat here and a row at the top. All right, nice and slow, nothing crazy. We want to take this time to warm up right because we have a ton of hard work ahead of us. So I really wanna make sure that you guys are nice and warm before we start pushing it. All right, while we're here, I want you guys to be thinking about your form, right? So knees are behind our toes, we're pushing back with our hips, core is nice and tight. We wanna get a little booty squeeze at the top, not too much. All right, we don't wanna hyper extend our back while we're up here. Chest is up, nice and proud, shoulders are down and back, head is looking, straight forward and a nice little smile on your face because we're happy to be here, right? All right, we have about one minute left here. So keep it up team. Continue to go nice and slow because like I said, we have plenty of time to work hard today. So what's up? We have a circuit with five exercises in it. Each exercise is gonna be 40 seconds. Then we're gonna do a round of Tabata four total intervals. Tabata is 20 seconds of work to 10 seconds off. And we're really gonna push it during that Tabata. We're gonna do that three total times and then we're gonna finish with our burnout. Now the longest rest that we have today is only 10 seconds. So I really need you guys to be present, be here. We're gonna make the most of this 20 minutes. <sighs> nice deep breath. We've got 20 seconds and we're straight into our first exercise. We're starting with slow squats, nice and easy. All right, we got this. Slow squats in three, two, and one. Nice and slow. Now the reason that I put this in here is because we don't have a lot of rest today. So it might feel kind of boring now, but you guys are gonna love that we have 40 seconds of slow squats when we get to round two and three. All right, so appreciate this time. <sighs> nice deep breath. Go right about down to 90 degrees. I don't want you going any deeper right now. 90 degrees is too low for you today. That's fine, just go where you feel comfortable. <sighs> Next up, we're switching it up to underhand grip rows. Ready, in three, two, and one. We're gonna switch that grip, palms facing the ceiling. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Now, while you're here, I want you to take your time. All right, so take time to hold it at the top, feel that pinch in the back, and then nice and slow on the way back out, I want you to control that contraction. Beautiful. We're getting a little bicep work in here. Never hurts. 10 seconds to go, we have pull squats coming up. Pull squats in three, two, and one. Let's go. So you're gonna do one pulse at the bottom, same squats as before. You wanna start picking up that pace just a little bit. We're gonna take it a touch faster than we did when we were doing our slow squats. Now we're still in the first round of our circuit, so don't feel like you have to push that pace now. That's really for round two and round three. We're still kinda of getting warmed up here, so feel free to take your time. Feeling the burn already. Love that for us. We have arms coming up. We have some more rows, but this time we're gonna change up our grip. So we're gonna do a wide grip row, taking those hands to the side of our handlebars. Ready? In three, two, and one. Switch that grip. And we're not squatting, we're rowing. 
beautiful. Now the thing I love about wide grip rows is that you can really get that pinch in those shoulder blades in the back. This position is so good for that. So really take advantage of that. Slight bend in the knees, we don't wanna lock that out. And we're going to squat pulses in five seconds. Three, two, let's take it down. We are holding it here at the bottom, just pulsing it out. 40 full seconds. I know, I am so mean. You'll love me later. <laughs> Deep breath, you got this. About 20 seconds to go, and then we'll do our Tabata. So we're gonna go straight into our Tabata from here. What we're doing during our Tabata is a squat and row. So that move that we started with, we're gonna do that during our Tabata, but we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. That starts in three, two, one. Bring it up, switch your grip if you need to. Squat and row. Good job guys, only 20 seconds here. So let's start to push our pace, right? We're feeling warm, we're feeling good. Let's do this. Rest coming up in three, two, and one. 10 seconds of rest. Like I said, this is the longest rest that we have, so nice deep breath. Ready, next interval in three, two, and one. Remember, we're gonna repeat this four times. So this is our second one. After this, we have two more and then we'll head right back into our circuit. You guys are doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. You've got this. And rest. Good job, you guys. Ready, and we go, back on it. I know that rest is so short. Keep pushing all the way through. Once we're done with our Tabata, we have those slow squats coming up. I told you, you were gonna appreciate them. And rest. Woo, one more 20 second interval to go. And we're good. Let's do it. Come on guys, stay on it all the way through. Remember earlier I talked about being present. We're only here for 20 minutes. So connect to your mind, connect to your body. Let's do this. Five seconds to go. And slow squats. Ooh. As slow as you need to take this, this is your time. So we're here for 40 seconds. Fam, I'm gonna take this real slow because we gotta make it through all three rounds of this, right? Now, as you start to get tired, let's not forget our form. All right, form over speed. So if you need to slow it down to have better form, fine by me. Whew. Let's breathe a little bit. Remember, in through the nose, out through the mouth. That breathing, if we can get connected to it, it's really gonna help us through our workout. Ready, we're right back into our circuit. First move, slow, oh wait, we already did slow squats. Underhand row in three, two, and one. I wish we could do slow squats just the whole time, to be honest with you. It's on my mind. <laughs> Get that little bicep pump in there. We are pro tank top season around here. You know, I got you. 15 seconds to go. Next up, pull squats. Those pull squats, we love them and we hate them. In three, two, and one. Let's do this. One squat, little pulse at the bottom. Get into the rhythm. This round, we should be feeling the burn a little bit more, right? We're picking up the pace a little bit. We should definitely not feel comfortable anymore. And that's okay with me because progress happens when we're not in our comfort zone anymore, right? You're not gonna make progress if you're feeling nice and comfortable on the couch. So here we are, we're doing the thing. 
We're really doing it. Nice deep breath. We have wide grip rows. Let's do it. Back to that upper body. Now, as you guys probably know, when we are doing rows, we're really focusing on our back. So I want you guys to think about squeezing those shoulder blades at the back of your row. We really wanna make sure that we are targeting the right muscles here when we are doing this. And we're taking the time to do so. Feels good, right? I always like the upper body because it gives me a second to breathe. Those squats really take it out of me. Nice deep breath. We are right back to our squat pulses. Let's do this. Holding it down at the bottom. We're pulsing it out for 40 seconds. I already hate myself for this one, but you know what? We're in this together. I'm not gonna give up on you and you don't give up on me. Nice deep breath. You can do this. We're halfway through. 20 seconds to go. And don't forget, we have our Tabata coming up. Four total rounds. Just like last time, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We got this. Squat and row coming up in three, two, and one. Let's do this. Let's try to pick up our pace this time a little bit. All right, we're ready to push. We're ready to do this. Rest coming up quick, five more seconds. In three, two, and one. Woo. 10 second rest, we love a good rest. Nice deep breath and right back to it. Let's go. It's only 20 seconds, guys, so I really want you pushing yourself as hard as you can here. And that might look faster than me, it might look slower than me. It is whatever that high effort looks like for you today. That's all I wanna see. And we rest. <sighs> nice deep breath. Soak this in. We're back to it in three, two. Let's go, pick it up. We got this guys halfway through, 10 more seconds to go. Remember your form. Sit back with those hips, beautiful, and rest. <sighs> Last 10 second rest before we hit our third round. You guys are doing amazing. Ready? Let's get it. Our last Tabata interval of this second set. <sighs> get after it. <sighs> I know you can. I'm tired too, but we're pushing through. <sighs> In five. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, fam, we're going into those slow squats. Ready? We got it. Now, I know you were probably feeling so tired right now. I know I am. All I ask in this third round is that you keep moving, right? I want that high effort, but whatever that looks like to you right now, and it might not be as fast as you went on the second round. I just wanna see you giving your best, okay? So we know what we're doing. Let's finish this round strong. I know you can. 10 seconds to go, and we will get back into those underhand rows. In three, two, let's do this. Switch that grip, palms facing the ceiling. We draw those handlebars towards our rib cage. Now, as we start to get tired, don't forget about your posture here, right? Shoulders down and back. We want that core to be nice and tight. Always engaged. Ten seconds to go. How many more can you do? Keep wrapping it out. In three, two, pull squats. Just one at the bottom for now. Our squat pulses are coming up, but for now we're here. This is a little more comfortable. A 
Come on, don't stop, keep moving. Our finish line is in sight, right? This is the last time that we're doing these exercises, so seriously make the most of them. Wide grip row, ready, set, let's do it. Hands come to our sides, and we are rowing away. So, I was thinking to myself last night about this workout, and I'm a runner, so I'm constantly thinking about going to the finish line. You know, end of the race, end of the workout, you were racing for that finish line. <laughs> and I was kind of cracking myself up. I literally laughed out loud in the car because I was thinking about what is the finish line when you're on a row and ride? What would that race look like? <laughs> and I feel like when you're on the row and ride, I mean, you kind of just look like a human kangaroo. Like we're just like hopping around on here. And I don't know, I just, that visual just made me laugh. So as we're coming into the finish line, imagine yourself, little kangaroo hopping in. <laughs> I hope that put a smile on your face. Guys, we are working hard right now, right? But it's kind of fun to work hard sometimes. That's what we, we came here for, right? So if you're not smiling, if my stupid kangaroo joke didn't make you smile, put a smile on your face. Think about something happy. We're almost there. We got this. Just smile through the pain. 10 more seconds to go. And don't forget, we're going straight into our Tabata. Three, two, and one. Squat and row. Now, if you want to change up your grip here, you might have noticed me like changing it up quite a lot as we've been going. Do what feels most comfortable to you. I'm fine with that. Hold the bottom handlebar, top handlebar, whatever you want to do today. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, thank goodness. Hitting the last of our 10 second rests here. Whew, the end is in sight. Ready? Let's go. Second 20 second round. Three of these to go, and then we hit our burnout. We're hopping straight in. So I need you to dig deep for me right here. Five seconds, three, two, and rest. Just breathe, guys. We're almost there. Ready, squatting and rowing. It's what we do best. Let's go. Come on, last two squat and rows. So pick up that pace. Come on, we got it. And we rest in three, two, oh, and relax. Oh man, I don't know about you, but I am feeling this. I am glad that this workout is almost over because we're putting in work. Ready? Last squat and row. Let's do this. All right, no, I'm not gonna tell you about our burnout until right when we get to it because something tells me that you guys are gonna hate me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna prolong that distance, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> and rest, 10 seconds of rest. We hit our burnout, our burnout, we're gonna drop it down into a squat hold. We're holding it for 20 seconds. Ready? Let's do it. <sighs> Burn is real, legs are shaking. Can you hold it here? If you need to come up, take a little rest, pop it right back down. Five more seconds. You've got this. Three, two, let's rest. 10 seconds. We hit that one more time and then we cool it down. Nice big breath. Let's go. Right back down. We can do this. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give yourself a little pep talk, you know? We're gonna get through this. Five seconds, you got that. We got that. Three, two, one. Ooh, bring it up. Oh, we're done. Thank goodness, it feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna quickly stretch you guys out, then we're gonna be done. All right, so back stretch. Let's do it. We're gonna come down on our row and ride. I want you to grab those top handlebars if you can. I'm seated, so I'm not putting any work into my legs right now. Thank goodness, because I don't think I could. Hold the top of your handlebars. We're gonna stretch out our back. Oh, 
I love this stretch. Feels so good. Opening up that back, especially after all of those rows that we just did. You guys seriously crush that. I am so proud of you, because I'm talking to you from like my face and my armpit. <laughs> okay, bring it up. We're gonna stretch out our calves one side at a time. So really lean into that right heel. Gonna feel that all in your calf. Dang, my calves are sore. I don't know if it's from this workout or if it's from all the running I've been doing, but this feels real good right about now. <sighs> nice deep breath, let yourself relax into that stretch. Switch it to the other side, left side. Let that pedal rotate and push it back as far as you can. Nice deep breath. All right, you guys, we are done for the day. Go ahead, step off your machine. If you guys need to do some more stretching, please do. I recommend five to 10 more minutes of stretching just to really get into those muscles that we worked today. If not, oh well. <laughs> Amazing job today. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you guys next time.